Ever wondered how India manages the financial aspects of disaster response and relief? In the face of any threatening disaster situation, be it natural or man-made, India has a robust system in place known as the National Disaster Response Fund or NDRF. Managed by the central government, the NDRF is a financial reservoir specifically built to meet the expenses for emergency response, relief, and rehabilitation. Imagine the NDRF as a safety net, ready to catch and support those affected by disasters. When a disaster of severe nature strikes and the State Disaster Response Funds or SDRF are not adequate, the NDRF steps in to supplement these funds. This means in the direst of situations, the NDRF is there to ensure that relief and rehabilitation efforts are not hampered due to lack of funds. So NDRF is like a financial shield against disasters, but who can avail it? Who can tap into the NDRF and under what conditions? Let's dive into that. The eligibility for NDRF is primarily determined by two factors. First, the nature of the disaster, and second, the financial requirements of the state in question. Natural calamities such as cyclones, droughts, earthquakes, fires, floods, tsunamis, hailstorms, landslides, avalanches, cloud bursts, pest attacks, and the cold wave and frost are all considered eligible for NDRF, provided they are deemed severe by the government of India. This means that the disaster must be of such magnitude that it requires expenditures by a state government in excess of the balances available in its own State Disaster Response Fund, or SDRF. But the NDRF isn't only for natural disasters. It's also designed to respond to man-made disasters such as terrorist attacks, chemical or biological disasters, or nuclear disasters, as notified by the central government. It's important to note, however, that the financial assistance from NDRF is for providing immediate relief and is not compensation for loss or damage to properties or crops. In other words, the NDRF amount can be spent only towards meeting the expenses for emergency response, relief and rehabilitation. Now that we know who can avail it, how does one go about the process? How does a state avail the funds from NDRF? Let's dive right into the process. To begin, the state that finds itself wrestling with a disaster must first take stock of the damage. This involves a careful sector-wise evaluation assessing the impact on areas such as agriculture, infrastructure, housing, and so on. Once the state has a clear picture of the extent of the disaster and the funds needed to tackle it, the next step comes into play. The state is required to submit a memorandum to the central government. This memorandum is a formal document that lays out the sector-wise damage and the need for funds in a detailed manner. The ball is then in the central government's court. Upon receiving the memorandum, the central government swings into action, conducting its own assessment of the damage. This is done to ensure that the requested funds align with the actual requirements on the ground. Once the central government's assessment aligns with the state's memorandum, the additional funds are granted to the state. This is not a compensation for loss or damage to properties or crops, but an immediate relief to meet the expenses for emergency response, relief, and rehabilitation. This money aids in providing immediate help to those affected, helping to restore normalcy as swiftly as possible. Now, where does the money in NDRF come from? We'll explore that in the next segment. Stay tuned. Where does the finance for NDRF originate? This is a question you might be asking yourself. Well, the answer is multifaceted. The National Disaster Response Fund, or NDRF, is primarily financed through the imposition of a cess or tax on certain items. This tax is chargeable to both excise and customs duty. This doesn't happen arbitrarily, though. Each year, this tax is reviewed and approved through the Finance Bill, a key piece of legislation that outlines the government's revenue and expenditure for the upcoming year, the Finance Bill plays a crucial role in determining the allocation of finances to the NDRF. But what happens when a disaster strikes that demands funds beyond what the NDRF can provide? In such instances, any requirement for funds beyond what is available under the NDRF is met through general budgetary resources. The government can tap into its general budget, diverting funds to ensure that the NDRF can continue its crucial work of providing immediate relief and aid during disasters. So the NDRF is a fund that is both well-planned and flexible. It is capable of expanding its resources when necessary, ensuring that it can respond effectively to any disaster that may arise. 
and who decides on the expenses from NDRF. Who manages the NDRF and ensures its proper usage? Let's dive into that. The management of the National Disaster Response Fund, or NDRF, is overseen by the National Executive Committee, also known as NEC, of the National Disaster Management Authority. The NEC plays a pivotal role in decision-making regarding expenses from the NDRF. This committee is responsible for assessing the need for funds, reviewing requests from states and deciding on the allocation of resources. In essence, they ensure that the funds are utilized where they are most needed, focusing on immediate relief and rehabilitation during times of severe natural or man-made disasters. But how do we ensure the transparency and accountability of such a significant fund? This is where the Comptroller and Auditor General, or KAG, comes into the picture. The KAG conducts an annual audit of the NDRF accounts. This thorough examination ensures that every penny spent from the NDRF is accounted for and the funds are being used effectively and efficiently it provides a layer of transparency that is crucial in maintaining public trust. In this way, the combination of the National Executive Committee's decision-making and the Comptroller and Auditor General's auditing ensures that the NDRF is managed with utmost prudence and responsibility. So, NDRF is a robust mechanism in place for disaster management, ensuring immediate relief and rehabilitation.